Tweak is one of Smash Ultimate's finest, and he won a major at Port Priority 7. I know I'm a little late to this train, but I never got a chance to analyze Tweak's run from Port Priority, so I'm going to be watching two of his sets versus Anathema and the first set of Grand Finals versus Karama because I like shorter sets because otherwise this is a 35 minute analysis, which is longer than the videos. So before we get into it, of course, subscribe, turn on notifications, ring the bell. I'm going to be watching the Anathema one first and then go into the Grand Finals versus Karama. So first off, just Tweak is really, really good versus Rob. I feel like him, uh, him, Leo, and like MVD are probably like the three best players in the world against Rob. Um, so let's see what happens. Jeez, he, is, he is pushing buttons. Love the Z drop. So much damage, Jesus Christ. 31 off of a ledge roll? Crazy. Tweak's movement looks already just phenomenal. Because, like, there, I know there's always a thing of, like, oh, Friendly's Tweak is better, and I feel like he's playing very much, like, loose like he would in Friendly's. Like, when he does some, like, clever punishes, I'm like, oh, God, like, Tweak's just gonna win. Speaking of the punishes, Jesus Christ. That was crazy. What a punish by Tweak. So he, he does this toss banana to cover the land on platform that Anathema does, and then drops through his B-reverse bananas, jump Z toss, sorry, jump Z catch, toss down forward smash. And again, on, on, like, knows because he has banana in hand, he can't really get anything here from, like, a buffered position. So he just tries to jump and toss banana down to catch Anathema hitting a button or trying to, like, reestablish or try to be plus on shield. Or plus in the situation. Oh, and the attack cancel item grab to get the banana was so far. It was literally in the corner. Look how much space that covered. Look how much space that covered. It was literally in the corner, and it hit under the fucking plat- the right- the far platform. That's crazy. Oh, I love the parry. And then the banana for the pressure doesn't get any- doesn't get it, but... Oh, beautiful. I love the up tilt, because it kind of pulls Diddy Kong out of the way, and makes it safe for the grab. Such a smart choice, because down tilt there would have absolutely got grabbed. You just kind of smashed me down three days ago. Oh, okay. That's fair. Yeah, Tweak is, um, a legendary player. And again, Anathema suddenly is still, like, playing really well, but Tweak is just going to, I feel like, extend this lead hella, suddenly. It was like, yeah, it's close, but suddenly it's not. Like, what? Look at look at how much damage this suddenly has. Oh, and now with the gyro? Oh my god, that entire stock was fucking ridiculous. Small Battlefield. I don't really understand. If you lose on PS2, why go to Small Battlefield? I feel like they're the same thing. Oh, beautiful. Banana grab by, by Anathema? Jeez. Rising Nair common into forward air, like 80? And yeah, this edge trap is scary. I'm so happy that I have quick attack and I don't have to worry about that shit. <laughs> like, I would hate to be on the ledge versus Tweak as like a normal, like a relatively normal character. <laughs> Ooh, I love the fact that Anathema tried to go out there and mess with it. I do think Diddy Kong's recovery is a bit more susceptible than people pretend, but like, look at this combo! So, he knows, again, He I mentioned it the last game when he's like, oh yeah, just to catch Anathema hitting a button, he just like throws banana down, and he does it here, and then gets from 21 to 48 plus advantage with it. So like, it's still advantage, just finally getting back in neutral. So like, 27% plus that, just from like, Anathema hitting a, hitting a fucking forward air or whatever it was. And there's the attack cancel item throw. Doing the auto cancels, Tweak just Tweak does not let himself be in lag ever if he if he has it his way. Oh, beautiful! I love that ledge. Like he did this a lot to Leo, so picking it up and then dashing towards to get the meaty Z drop banana. Fast fall into forward smash, so good! Jesus Christ, that was amazing. Oh my God, Schmixed! He actually got mixed. Like this. This was absolutely a mix, because you're expecting just like a, 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 like a fall into like an air dodge or something. I mean, I don't exactly know what Anathema wanted to do, because Tweak had banana in hand, so he's clearly going to do something with it, and either way, you can't grab, I think, forward toss, so I'm not sure, but either way, got mixed. Ow. Oh, Gyro's still out, so it didn't get it. But finally, banana exists. Oh my god, he said, fuck you, I've been patient this whole time on ledge, let me just run off like tweak doesn't really do that so that was that was insane he says oh i'm winning it's fine i've been being patient it's fine 
you're not gonna expect this. What, that was insane. Like, yeah, I don't know if I've seen Tweet play this well, because even at Summit, I mean, I feel like a lot of people kind of just like didn't realize what Diddy could do, but then a lot of people figured out how to fight against Diddy. And then Tweet's going, yeah, it doesn't matter sometimes. Why does Diddy do better on FD than Small Battlefield? Um, because in, in matchups where Banana is just overwhelming in a matchup, it's really, like, FD's broken. So it's, it's staged, it's character dependent whether FD's better. Beautiful recovery by Tweak. Oh my god, that is underrated. So clearly, if he held the gyro here, or sorry, if he held barrels, he would have got hit. So we had to go high and then back down. Beautiful recovery by Tweak. Jesus Christ. Tweak is just, this is demolishing. I don't even, like, Anathema's not even doing anything wrong, necessarily. Tweak is just on his shit right now. That was so fast. Jesus Christ. Like, what the fuck? That was so fast. I mean, it's, it's worth it to go for it, but, like, Jesus Christ. Okay. So that was uh, Loser's Quarters for fifth place. Now he got all the way into Grand Finals against Karama. Set two was very close. Tweak ended up winning. 3-2. Uh, but I do want to watch the... Uh, the fast one because this matchup I feel like is Mario favored because Mario has like better normals cape flood edge guarding and like normally better combos than Diddy but tweaks combos are ridiculous so I don't know tweak in the cornering pressuring in the corner and he can eat like tweak is so good at recognizing when his stuff like won't actually connect because like this was definitely too far to get an up smash so instead of going like hoping he goes for it or hoping it works when he goes for it he just waits and then sees if his opponent presses a button to then go for a follow-up after one of our is after the list after ludwig's um i mean ludwig's and port i think solidified him as like at least top 25 but again like there's so many good players so it's hard to say definitively because then you have to go into like mia and Yoshidora, and then you have still like Cola, DeBuzz, Tweak. Uh, then there's like the other European players, like at least Bloom Forever, and you have like, you just have so many good players. Like there's so many goddamn good players in this fucking game. Jesus Christ. That up tilt was ridiculous. That like barely made sense, Jesus Christ. So good. Is Bloom better than Lima? I think Bloom's better than Lima, yeah. He has more wins. And then, I mean, he also, has wins on Gluto. He has uh, win on a uh, win on Shutong with uh, Brawler. Oh, is that an SD? Yeah, okay. But again, like this pressure by just Tweak is so scary. He's just so aware of like so many little things and just you know tried to like land and then shield there, but whatever. Because again, this also comes like a week or two after Ludwig's, where like Tweak had a you know, good pools performance, but then a relatively lackluster performance in the bracket. So this was like a great kind of comeback of like, hey, by the way, remember, I'm really, really, really good at this game. This is a really important momentum for Tweak to have. And he's not pushing himself because he DQ'd from Apex. And he, I don't know if he's going to main stage. Oh, such a good banana toss. What the fuck? That was such a, I mean, he was safe. I mean, the only thing Karama could have done is like full hot back aired, but that would have been hard to like do anything to because like it, he wouldn't have got a big combo so the risk reward there for tweak was insanely high sometimes people don't shield randomly against like obvious aerials but also he does fucking monkey flip a lot so it's hard to say jesus christ and then he's just ready like look at that pressure so he does this he gets, he tries to do the Z drop down air and then is automatically ready for the roll. So he just dashes over because it also will avoid get up attack and ledge hop aerial and then he's just ready and then up tilts. So, so good by Tweet. Like the, the cognizant, the, what's the word? His cognizance of just like these weird um, situations and like how many things are just like constantly happening. Like, oh, I missed this time to do this. Oh, I missed this time to do this like immediately. But not in terms of like a flow chart, but in terms of just like, oh, this covers a lot of options is so, so good. Bananas has enough time to shield, then recognize, and then up smash. Where did I place Diddy on my tier list? Uh, Diddy's somewhere in high tier. Like, upper high tier, but still high tier. I think Diddy's not super, super good. Because, I mean, Tweak also doesn't think Diddy's, like, a fantastic character. Like, good enough. Because, again, most characters are good enough in this game. But that doesn't necessarily mean the character's broken. Jesus Christ. Uh, so, again, Nair Fair. Banana. Covers the ledge jump, because again, we talked about it in the Karama video, if you missed it, you can go into the card up above. Uh, Karama does love his ledge hop aerials, and then just 
covers it, and then no double jump, the transcendent banana into down air. Like, Jesus Christ. So good. Jesus Christ. Tweak's corner pressure has just been insane. Like, there's barely anything to say, because all I'm doing is going like, God damn, Tweak is good. Wow, Tweak is good. Jesus Christ, Tweak is good. Look at that. Like, it's it's been so impressive this whole time. Oh, wow. This was also amazing. Just, again, the toss of... We saw that against Anathema. It was just like, I'm going to cover the, the space. But it was a little slow, so he wasn't able to get the other banana toss. Because, wait, you know I don't know if it was a true combo before, but it was at least a good follow-up. I don't remember. Uh, but that up smash will cover the trip rolls because they have weightless invincibility. And these edge cancels. So, Tweak will just, like, constantly go for edge canceled side Bs just to, like, minimize the chance of him getting hit because you have to already be super there. But also, Tweak is 100% willing to just crash into stuff for damage. Nice punish. Oh, Jesus, no double jump on Karama. Like, this pressure, like, every single time Tweak has had advantage, he's, I feel like, at least getting, like, 40% plus banana pull. And all these people are uh, being a little slow on covering the around the world recovery, but also, again, it's hard, because then Tweak can just decide to go back to the short side anyway. Like, Tweak has, is just suffocating his opponents this like and he did that the entire tournament uh you dead oh i would have just gone for another up like at least another up air <gasps> the banana he plucked banana so it actually got him out of the combo that was absolutely stock that would have been a lead for karama and instead karama dies that banana was that's like the smartest thing i've seen all set holy shit that was so fucking good. Up air, down air. Yeah, this this is like a this is a pretty standard. Not to discount the comment the commentary excitement, but this is like a pretty normal Diddy thing. He tries to get the second one. I think he I don't think he meant to grab the ledge. But that happens sometimes if you do the if you do the down air uh, a little late. But, like, the pressure, the movement, everything Tweak is doing. And the beautiful thing is I feel like a lot of people, including myself, when we're, like, get really aggressive, we're just, like, only aggressive, 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 aggressive. Whereas Tweak will be, like, aggressive, aggressive, and then be, like, actually, I'm just gonna, like, kind of chill and just kind of try to hit you for trying to hit me. He'll, like, slow down a little bit. And so he plays, like, on and then off tempo. Um, like, he creates the tempo and then just obliterates it in, like, the span of two seconds and then re-picks up the tempo and then gets, like, this entire stock was insane. So, like... He does this combo, right? And then messes up there, but gets, he, he recognizes he messed up, so rolls. And then he plays defensive, and then he just randomly dash attacks, and then he's pressuring, and then he tries to get this forward air, but doesn't see it. And then he throws the banana down to kind of just cover Karama being aggressive and trying to reclaim uh, the momentum, and then just runs at him, notices that nothing's happening in the center stage, dashes backwards, sees the jump, sees the air dodge after the down tilt. Like, that entire stock was fucking incredible by Tweak. He is such a master of momentum and then killing momentum and then re-upping his momentum. Like, I don't think another player does that like him in the entire world. And that is why Tweak won Port Priority 7. What did you think? Again, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of that, what you, who else you want me to do videos of. Uh, Cause again, there's so many people to talk about. There's a lot of storylines, a lot of stuff. And I'm very, very excited for those. And I will see you all there. Peace. Pikachu. What?